One of the most significant additions to CRM since version 2011 is business process flows. So business process flows can be added to any form in CRM. Uh, we'll look at it on the opportunity form, but they're a way of prompting your user through a process. Here's an example of a business process flow on the opportunity form. You can see I have four different stages or steps uh, that take place during this business process flow. And you can see as the user moves through each one of these, the fields they're asked to enter changes throughout the process. So in the older world of CRM, you would have a drop down that would say something like qualify, develop, propose, and close. And the user would have to remember where to go on the form to enter different fields at different times to keep their data entry current. This way, as the user goes through the process, they're prompted for which fields to enter. So you can see we're in the develop stage right now. That's the stage it's flagged. And you can see the user was prompted to enter a customer need. In this case, the customer needed a new intranet and a proposed solution. So this solution is going to comp be comprised of a workshop where they'll come and plan their intranet, uh, vendor demos to help select software, implementation consulting, and change management consulting. And you can see there are some other fields I could enter here too, like identifying stakeholders and identifying competitors. Uh, but I don't need to do that because they're not required at this time. Now when I'm, it's time to go to the next stage, I can just click next stage. And just like that, I move to the next stage. I can look at each stage without moving the stages just by clicking the headers. But the current stage is always marked with a flag. Now in this particular case, I'm on the propose stage. And let's say that I'm going to propose a discount of 14%. So that's fine, I can just enter that in the field. But let's say that discount jumps to 15%. Now you can see I have branching logic built in here automatically to say, hey, if you're going to propose that, you have to have a new stage called Get Manager Approval that was added dynamically. And when I hit that stage, you can also see that the one, required, one field here is required, Get Approval from the Discount Manager. I can't go to the next stage until this field is filled in. If I try to, CRM will tell me I can't do that. That's called stage gating. So processes are a great way to make sure that you're not requiring your users to enter too much early on in the process when you don't want to invest as much, but you are capturing the right information from users at the right time in the process to make sure that you're getting good quality data into the system without taxing your users too much. So that's business process flows. If you're not using those yet in CRM, they're a game changer. You should look closely at them.